I taught ideology. I contributed to some of their misconceptions. Yes, I've done that. Yeah? I like so I see. I've been teaching for 30 years. Can we video? Go ahead. Yeah. And when I found out that I had been giving students wrong information, but it's just what you're taught and what you believe and what you see. And sometimes you don't see the whole the whole picture. Like I was talking to those ladies over there now about um, food chains and food webs and how they really never end. But yet when I was growing up, it was just a circle of what eats what and the sun is in there somewhere. And nobody ever took the time to explain to me that without the sun, producers don't get energy and therefore without the sun, all of us would be dead. I could never figure out why the sun would fit in with a bunch of animals in my fourth grade mind. But it's like, you. Yeah, I've added to students' misconceptions. No, but now through the Smithsonian, like at the back, can I just get my book? Let me tell you yeah. what I do. Okay. Okay. I'm one of these weird kids, okay? I'm the one that doesn't think like everybody else. And I have found over the years, like in my Spanish book, really all the answers are in the back of the book. So when I was having trouble thinking about what I was stumbling on or what my misconceptions were, I fell in love with this little binder because everything is at the back. But now you gave us this big fat binder. No, I can't find them. There it is. But everything that I ever had trouble with, it's right here, okay? So you have this one. It is incorrect to think that animals are the only consumers, but most consumers are not even animals. And do most of your students think this? Yes, living in northern New Mexico where it's rural and they just see animals eat other animals or animals eat bugs. They don't know that there's other microbes like in the soil and stuff until we start doing something like this. And then they realize, oh, that's why the worms are there. Oh, that's why your little bugs or beetles that live in the dirt, like some crickets or, um, you know, whatever they find. So. So you're, this opens my eyes up a lot, oh, right. and it makes them, it's really neat to see somebody say, oh, that's why that happens, or oh, that's why that doesn't happen, or oh, that's what explains what I saw, or that's why there was a bunch of maggots on a dead deer carcass when we went hunting and we saw it. You know, it's like, then they'll go up there again in two more weeks, and they'll realize that not only are there maggots, but there have been wolves or coyotes, and vultures and everything else that have picked up this picture and there's only bone town. You know, where did the rest of it go? So it just, it, they make a connection. Well, you help them make that connection through classroom activities, through science investigation. In your class.